Hi there, my name is Ken, and I'm here to show you how to do geohashing using Node.js. Um, first, we'll need to install the package using the Node Package Manager. Uh, you simply use npm install geo-hash. That should install really quickly. Okay, and up here, we're going to create the object by using the var geo equals require geo-hash. So that'll create our object so we can call upon the geohashing package. Um, down here, we create the string hash equals geoencode, so encode is the method, and that's where we send in the latitude and longitude. And out will come the hash. So I do a console log and just echo that out so we can see it. Um, if you're not familiar with geohashing, there are, and it's a nice simple string um, to refer to a location, just like latitude and longitude, except it's a single string without a space, comma, minus, decimal points, all those things that tend to get messed up in emails and in other places and you don't get them switched around and, and all of that. So it's a nice easy way to um, refer to a location anywhere on earth as a simple short string. Um, so that will have created our hash and we'll echo that out. And of course once in a while you want to convert that back to a traditional longitude and latitude coordinates. So um, the same package has the ability to do that. Down here I'm creating the position variable, pause, uh, again, we call upon geo.decode method this time. We send in that same hash, and then we echo that back to the console. And that's about it. Very easy to do. And we're going to show you that right now. I'm going to call node geo.js. And as you can see, there's our generated hash. Nice, short, simple string to work with. And then again, below, we've created this object, which has the latitude and longitude by converting that hash back into additional longitude and latitude. Um, it's nice that this module um, converts that into an object which makes it easier to use. Um, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.